Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hey everyone, welcome to the Joy of Yoga. I'm Joy Scola, and today I'm joined with my team here. We are going to be grooving and sweating our way to a smaller waistline. This is your fourth part of our Yoga for Weight Loss Challenge. Great for beginners. Now come and join us. Let's get started. Go ahead and join us in a comfortable mountain stance here, feet about hip distance apart, standing up nice and tall, body in alignment. And we are going to just get right to it today. So prepare to sweat. We are going to inhale, reach those arms up. Take that breath because you need it. Exhale, we are going to sink down into chair. We don't have to go all the way here. Keep it simple, but we want to curve that tailbone down and under, keeping the backs nice and tall, pressing the knees evenly into one another. Make sure you're breathing, <sighs> scooping that tailbone, activating the core here. You can put your hands on your hips if the arms are too much. We're breathing. <sighs> you got this. And then on your next exhale, we are going to fold forward, coming out of that chair pose, straighten the legs, good job, and stretch the hamstrings here, you can pedal out the feet, and even wiggle the bum side to side, whatever feels good for you. <sighs> And then better take a nice deep inhale because we are going to inhale, rise back up straight to chair, tucking that tailbone. <sighs> Try and make it so that your toes are free to wiggle. We want the weight to be in the heels. <sighs> Breathing, stick to it. I know you're cursing me out, that's okay. And exhale. Oh. Oh. Yes, I hate chair pose too. I know you're under your breath, like, mm -hmm. that's okay. I forgive you. Oh. Really let yourself relax here. Even if you can only reach this far, that's great. You could put your hands on your thighs, whatever you need to do. And then when you're ready, we're gonna inhale back up to a chair pose, but we're not gonna sink so far deep into it because we're gonna throw a little twist on this. So go and exhale and then inhale, rising up to that kind of miniature version of chair, taking the hands out in front. Now you are more than welcome to stay right here, but if you do wanna take this to another level, you can lightly raise the heels off the mat. So we're kind of in this Oh, crouching tiger hit a dragon pose here squeezing activating earth bender <sighs> yeah feel the false <laughs> Woo, burning burning and exhale oh, forward fold oh, shake it out do what you gotta do what feels good for you Mm, wiggle around. Always take things with ease though. You're exploring your body. <sighs> I know this is uncharted territory for some and that's okay. We're exploring now. Getting to know the lay of the land. <sighs> Alright, go ahead and inhale up to flat back. Now you can either stand up all the way or from flat back. Go ahead and just teal heel, toe heel, your feet out. You can go a comfortable distance. Doesn't have to be ninja status doing the splits here. Mm. Just whatever offers a slight bit of a challenge while allowing you to maintain your control. So now inhaling, flat back. Inhale all the way up to standing. We're pushing that pelvis through, stopping just under the hips. Again, we don't want to take it too far. Actually need to walk mine in a little bit. 
Ah, it's okay to readjust at any moment. We're gonna take our arms out nice and wide here. We're gonna do kind of like a version of cherry pickers. So we're gonna exhale, reach to the opposite toe. Inhale back up. Exhale, opposite foot. Moving with the pace of your breath. Exhaling to fold. Inhaling to stand. Again, we're leading with that pelvic on our rise up. Everything starts from the ground up. Strong legs. Activating the bomba. No, that's not a technical term. Adventure time, if anybody. <laughs> For all the kiddos out there. Hang on, just a couple more. Last one each side, one more on the other. Oh, no. And inhale. Come back to standing. You can hop or step. All right, again, always coming back to that mountain pose. We want to stand strong, not just hanging out, waiting to do yoga. We're rooting through the floor, keeping everything in alignment. We're gonna start with some high knees now, so go ahead and place the hands on the hips for some support, and then just slowly raising the right foot up, bringing the knee into the chest. We're activating that belly, exhaling down and switching. So standing, single leg crunches here. Kind of reverse that wide leg too. I like to go nice and slow. Keeps you building that muscle memory. And I feel like it actually makes it burn more instead of just a hi, 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 hi. <laughs> to keep all the control, everything in alignment. We don't want to tweak anything. Plus, this forces you to balance as you shift your weight. And back down. Now go ahead and step that right foot back out at a nice comfortable distance. And now we are going to turn the toes facing the outer edges of the mat. If you're just slightly turned out, that's great. We really want to push to try and get them parallel with the side of our mat here. And we're pushing that pelvis through our hips again, engaging the core, and then sinking down into this. This is the goddess stance here, or god if you're a gentleman, I suppose. <laughs> we're holding nice and strong. We're reaching the shoulders back and down, chest is rising. Nice long ballerina neck. Breathing. If you want to step up this game, you can also start to add some crunches. Using those obliques to pull it back in and reaching it out. You're pulling in, you're zipping up while sinking down. I know that sounds contradictory, but that is yoga. That's how we get a stretch and a workout simultaneously. Thanks, yoga. All right, on your next exhale, go and turn those toes in. Nice forward fold, you deserve it. Stretching those hamstrings, making sure you're on the balls of your feet. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and just walk your body to the left. You can turn those toes out slightly. <sighs> Trying to bring your head to your shin. Or if you're only here and you're like, this is a stretch, then great. Stay right there. And then next inhale, walk it to the other side. Make sure you bring that foot in. And turn the right one out now. 
We're still zipping in those thighs. I don't want to let everything go just because we're in a relaxing pose. Now go ahead and turn that right toe all the way out and step or hop the left foot to meet it. And inhale, reaching up nice and tall. Exhale, lowering down to Chaturanga. So placing the feet, the hands on either side of the feet, stepping or hopping the feet back into your high plank. And then slowly we are pushing forward with the toes, pulling with the shoulders to reach down. And if you can, pause just at the bottom and then slowly lower the belly down. Good job. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and rise up to cobra or up dog, making sure that the feet are trailing straight behind you, not turned in. Breathing. We're not crunching the neck here. We're making sure that everything's really long, creating that space. This is great if you're always hunched over looking at your phone or computer or tablet. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and slowly lower down. We're gonna start some swimmers here pretty soon. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna start with the arms first. Go ahead and make the neck neutral, bringing your arms straight out in front of you. Still pressing our feet and hips into the ground. We're going to inhale, lifting the spine. Again, keeping the neck real neutral. And we're going to start to paddle those arms up and down. Breathing the whole time. I hear Tracy, I hear Ashley. They're breathing, they're working. Keeping those shoulders planted. We don't want to hurt the neck. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and slowly lower down. No collapsing. Now you can always bring your arms into more of a sphinx position here, or you can just have your elbows out and head resting on the fingertips. Um, but now we are going to work the low back. So now lifting the feet, kind of giving a slight squeeze in your bottom. You're gonna start kicking. Breathing. Squeezing those bottoms. And on your next exhale, slowly lowering down. Now we're going to put those together, but if you wanted to stick with just the arms or just the legs, or even if you just want to hold here, that's great. But now we are going to inhale, arms up, feet up, and swimming. Swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Oh, 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 oh. I like to swim. Come on. Oh, swim, breathing, unclench the jaw. Think good thoughts about me. And exhale, slowly lower down. Oh, oh. <sighs> Go ahead and press back into your child's pose. You can take a wide knee or a closed knee. Child's pose, whichever feels good for you. If your knees are together, it's more of a quadricep massage. Feet are, knees are apart, more of in the groin hips. And now we're really reaching with our fingertips while tucking our tailbone down. So we are literally pulling our spine in the opposite direction, like licorice, naffy taffy. Every time I inhale, I'm really sending my breath to my rib cage, trying to expand out wide and exhale, let everything release. Inhale, growing long, exhale, sinking in.
feel free to stay in here as long as you need to. You can even head to corpse pose if that's how you like to finish your practice. You can wiggle side to side, kind of massaging out the thighs. Whenever you're ready, feel free to come back up to a comfortable seated position. <sighs> Woo -wee. Good job. Thanks for sticking in there. You've just accomplished part four. Now is the time to send in all those pictures, all those videos. If you haven't been uploading them as you go along, member on Instagram to tag at Psyche Truth Fitness and hashtag Psyche Truth Fitness Challenge to win your two-piece Dragonfly Yoga outfit. Thank you, Dragonfly. And thank you so much for sticking in there and hanging with us. You got it, way to go. I look forward to seeing everybody's results and feedback. <laughs>